Imperial Knights Gallant. Impetuous, mad, beyond bellicose. These words and more have been used to describe Knights Gallant, for they are considered by the majority of nobles to be the most reckless and combative of all Imperial Knights. Pilot and machine share the same traits. They are aggressive, bold and difficult, if not impossible to restrain. They long to attack and will do so with unrelenting fervour. To this end, Knights Gallant are armed almost exclusively for close combat, typically wielding a Reaper Chainsword and a Thunderstrike Gauntlet. This combination of weapons renders them especially ferocious when engaging the enemy's war engines and monstrous beasts. With every swing, the Reaper is more than capable of scything the head from a Tyranid Biohorror or running through the heaviest Tau Empire battlesuit. Meanwhile, a single good punch is all that the Thunderstrike Gauntlet needs to kill almost anything smaller than a Titan, annihilating it in a searing flare and resonant boom. Although geared towards close combat, the Knight Gallant does bear a single ball turret mounted weapon, either a heavy stubber or melter gun. As this is the Gallant's only ranged armament, pilots tend to use it in an opportunistic fashion, surprising their enemies with a sudden burst of lethal firepower in the moment before their charge slams home. A noble destined to pilot a Knight Gallant will learn three basic tenets when their throne is installed within their steed. Depending upon the specific Knight household or the ancient heritage of the throne, these commandments might be phrased in many different ways, but they all boil down to the same three truisms. Trust in your Ion Shield, make all speed toward the foe, and strike swift and sure. Knights Gallant therefore waste no time in surging into the fight, their pounding strides eating up the distance between them and the foe with terrifying speed, their shields flickering as they absorb the enemy's increasingly panicked fire. When a Lance of Knights Gallant takes the battlefield, it is sure to attract a disproportionate amount of the enemy's firepower. Indeed, most foes will do anything they can in the hopes of preventing the Knights from reaching their front lines. Since the Great Crusade, there have been many tales of the devastation wrought by these aggressive knights, for their bold and reckless attacks have made them famous across the galaxy. It was a knight gallant that charged the vaunted heretic stronghold of Archeonite, smashing its way through 13 defensive lines to batter down the citadel's gates. It was also a trio of knights gallant that counter-attacked the Tyranid invasion of Grodosphere, ploughing headlong into a siege-breaking line of Carnifexes, blunting that Xenos offensive in a spectacularly bloody fashion. Indeed, the great conqueror Solar Macarius is said to have favoured the Gallant Lance formation above all others for breaking enemy lines and bringing a swift end to attritional battles.